Hello and welcome to, wow, it's been a while, live stream. Um, like most nights, I'm a little tired, a little worn out, haven't slept good. Had to go get some new additions to the farmstead here, and that was some Muscovy Ducks. Ah, drinking Mellow Yellow. Okay, I am in the old base. As you see, these are all empty, but I wanted to show you what I built. I kind of had a fix I needed to do, you know, and I thought what I need to do is build a new Horde Knight base for fun. Because from what I understand, we might be getting early streamer access, I mean, not me, but uh, come maybe next weekend is what I've heard. We'll see. I don't know if we will or not. Hey, that's not going to work very good, is it? Oh, excuse me. So I put several of these in just as fallback points. Some of them, a couple of them have those, some don't. Just so things can't crawl over it. And remember, we used to use that upper one to get to the other um, Horde Knight base. This is a new Horde Knight base that I am dubbing the Devil's Butthole. We have our generator there. And now we're entering the butthole. Hey, Crab Clown Jimmy, how's it going? So, just a few below this it is bedrock. And we just have a little simple fighting area here. And we'll go back and I'll show you up top. It's sad though. The only time I get to see one of uh, Crab Clown Jimmy's live streams is when I'm on vacation because of working second shift. You working on a grounded video? Yep. Horde night tonight in that new base. It'll either fail or it'll be good. Either way, it should be epic. This way it's probably quicker. Oh, a seven days video. I think we got somebody running up here. Come on, get out of there. Hello. I hear you walking. Oh, my dog's showing me they're over there. They're on their way. You know what? Here. I'm in here. Because we won't be able to do it much longer. I wish. I think he just fell in. Sounds like a walking horde. What are you guys doing out there? It sounds hilarious, whatever they're, you know, falling into or I'm in here. This is my old horde night base. Hello. Um, here. Look, there you guys go. Come on. I was going to spear them, but okay. We're not waiting around. Where are they? Come on, dog. Show me where they're at. Okay. Maybe they died on the Oops. Spikes. Come on, close. Must have. Huh. Well, that was anticlimactic. So, over here is the top to what I have dubbed the Devil's Butthole.
Just simple looking. Um, nice shaft. And then down there is where we fight. Somebody else on one of the first servers when I started playing had this. Something like this. And I thought it was fun. So I kind of remade it a little bit. There's was a little bit more to it than that. Okay, does the spirit clown come back? Sure miss me some spirit clown. We gotta do something. Why do we... You know what, let's go have some fun over here. It's silent. Go back down. Stop it. Stop it. So, on a side note, I did find out that the group that I used to play Dungeons and Dragons with are still still playing, but only once a month. Up in cider. <laughs> Oh, the shark jeep, uh, it's a blimp. And it just depends. There is what it's supposed to look like. It's just a shark blimp. But uh, sometimes it doesn't load in quite right. It is a mod. And you actually don't have to have any fuel. And it's super fast. And it's super cool. So, hopefully... Oh, if I remember right, there's dogs in right this area. Yep. So hopefully, I can get... Click. I can get around to... Uh, getting some gaming back on. My dog says that these dogs are not good dogs. They're bad dogs. I don't know if that's all the dogs or not. Oops. Now the problem is when I start doing stuff like this, I have to watch the Horde Knight counter. Big mama. In the back of the head. In the shoulder. <laughs> Let's, let's get hey give me that and Jimmy I also stopped today I don't know if you saw my update there that and added another new animal to the homestead we now have Muskogee ducks Muskogee Muscovy ducks the nice thing about those are okay come get some then oh he's upstairs um you can actually kind of keep them in town because they don't make noises like other ducks come on i got something for you Um, they actually hiss. They like hiss and barely squeak. And they're very rare, or very rare, very lean red meat. Have I ever told you that I dislike those birds? Come on. Come on. Ah, sure, now he comes down. Ah, this is not going well. Come on, bird. Uh, 
Um, actually, the plan is to get eggs from these because I've got five of them. And then have them procreate and get eat those. But yes, they are for food. But yes, they're some of the best duck meat I guess you can get. Get down, get down! Alright, have I ever said that those ladders are kind of funky sometimes? Oh, and a cop. You know what we're going to do? Come here. Time to... Don't get mad. The eggs are a lot like chicken eggs. I've had them a couple times. The only thing is, um, chicken eggs are a little higher in uh, acid and can cause some people issues. They do give me a little bit of issues, but not much. Um, to where the duck eggs usually don't. They're a little bit, I don't know, people swear that they're better for using for baking. Nut shot. Oh. Nut shot. If he's not mad, he should be. Then he took an arrow to the knee. Uh-oh. Miss me. I accidentally hit a key on my keyboard there. Sit down, lady. Boy, I'm a little rusty at the game, I think. Well, whatever I can do to um, close the food gap loop there. You know, because hopefully it doesn't happen, but the stores haven't been all that great at having food at decent prices lately. This was the place that uh, Verno told me not to come to when I was low level. That's why I'm back here. I mean, there's a lot of times I go in the store and I'll look at something and pick it up and see the price and then put it back down. Yeah, I haven't had too much issue finding a lot of things. Weird thing is, like, uh, and I know it's not the best thing, but um, LaCroix Chow Mein. I just now found it. I mean, they've been out of it for years. Where I haven't been able to get any. And they just had some in the store. And I was like, heck yeah. So I got me some chow mein. Nut shot. And say I work at a meat place. This month we get two uh, boxes of meat that we can purchase. And it, it's not bad. They're quarter pounders is what they are. And you can get them for... Uh, you get 10 pounds for 15 bucks. So essentially you're getting $1.50 a pound for a hamburger. Ooh, that was nice. Uh, 
Um, oh, yeah. Uh, they actually had some pork loin that was like within a couple days of its uh, expiration. And if you freeze it, that stuff's still golden. Um, so I went ahead and I bought it. And they had them. They're normally 12 bucks for them. And I went ahead and got them, and it was a dollar a piece. So I bought every one they had. Because why not, right? Let's go clear upstairs. But yeah, I love... I look... Uh, holy mackerel. That's one of the things that's really nice about Second Shift. Is, like, uh, I go to Myers a lot. And they'll discount them towards the end of the night. So sometimes you get like first dabs at a lot of that stuff. And I think I got 12 of them. I gave a couple to my dad and cooked a couple right away and then uh, put the rest in the freezer. Stay down, big boy. Yeah, usually the pork loin doesn't go that, that cheap. But we do have a market close to me. Where did he go? Did he fall out? Yeah. Or down. A market that's close to me. And I don't know if they get, like, stuff that's kind of close to expiring. But it's packaged more for, like, restaurants. Like the one that had uh, bags of chicken breasts. And they were inside of another bag in the box, and some of those bags had broke open. But it was um, $1.29 a pound, and they're like 50-pound cases. And I got a couple cases of that, canned some up, and uh, froze some of it, and ate some of it. Holy mackerel. I will never put this many people in one of my prefabs that I make. Because it's just crazy. I might shoot through that or not. Butt shot. Okay. Holy mackerel, look at all those. Missing me. Ooh, he almost had it. It's those dogs that scare me. Can we? We got it. Come on, pick him up. We got someone outside or something? What time is it? Okay, 2.11. We're still doing good. Go. Let's go have some fun. Sometimes I get into the game and I forget to, to talk to... Missed him. Might not be able to get him from here. Doesn't look like it.
Here we go. Looks like we got one more dog in here. Let's just do it. Not shot. What we got in here? We don't want that. We really don't need that either. Let's go get our arrows if we have any. Still around. That's it, two forged iron, that's that. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. We'll take the ammo. Take that. Yeah, we'll take it all right. Take it all, we'll drop it off on our way to the Horde Knight. We don't need that. Some good ammo, huh, buddy? We'll take those. I don't want to pick up the office chair. I didn't see him come in from this side. box over here oh glass jars how I'm gonna miss you hopefully someone comes out with a mod really quick for that I don't really need any of that I'm gonna need that how did I not get infected though okay I think that's it down here Go back to this. See, that wasn't that tough, was it? You know, I, I didn't see anything that I really wanted to talk about in a video for the third dev stream. And I won't lie, I didn't even see the fourth one. I didn't figure there was probably anything in there worth me watching. I did get kind of mad yeah, when they uh, started talking about Alpha 22, 22 and I'm like, this is supposed to be um, I will take those. You know, about Alpha 21 why didn't I scrap that? Um, Alpha 20, uh, 1, not, uh-oh. I don't really need the meat, but I can't turn it down. It's a trap. Oh. oh I still have the bone knife on this one. Yeah. 
I don't know. I, I like some of the fixes, but can they fix stuff without? It seemed like, um, oh, well, their names are escaping me right now. The bald one that plays. It seems like they keep changing the game for him because, well, it's way too easy, so I need to get it changed. So it's uh, um, actually gives me a hard time trying to do it. It's like, well, the, make it that optional. Make it so I can turn it off or on. <laughs> is, is that his actual name, Fubar? Because I know what that stands for. <laughs> oh, I always say, if you're not going to take it, throw it on the ground so it'll repopulate for somebody else. Oh wow, I'm full on wood. Yeah, Lathan. Like the hardware. He was your boss. By the way, if you have not checked out the Latham series by Crab Clown Jimmy, what's wrong with you? Go. Do it now. Put away your weapon unless you'd like to die in my store. What do I think about you? Yeah, I don't think, you know, I don't get a whole lot of people that see this, but even if one sees it, goes to see it. Still. And we'll never get the secret stash. Look, we're reading books doesn't take 150 sale books to read. Sale is a sale, even if it's to a scumbag like you. Where was my way at? Don't mind me, wrecked. I'm just going to go upstairs and... Rifle through your drawers. Wrecked, I saw a bird up there. I think it pooped on you, man. Hey, man, I just found this stuff. You want to buy it? Awesome. Oh, Oops. you want a guarantee, huh? Well, maybe you should try Shamway. <laughs> All right, now that we're done doing business, get out of my store. I'm kind of ready to... Wipe the server. But it seems like whenever we do, which we're waiting till Alpha 21 comes out, but it seems like every time we do, then we get a, a surge of people again. The big thing is, well, at the beginning, hopefully we can stick with light mods. It'd be nice to get a lot of them to where they're just server side, but um, hopefully the A19 food or uh, farming mod still works. How come that is broke? That was about dead. 
you know what? This would be a lot easier. Just like that. And I say the... It's a lot easier um, streaming because you don't have to do any editing, really. But I miss series, so I think when Alpha 21 comes out, we're going to start a new series. Um, <laughs> I also... I don't know if I mentioned this yet or not. I also am in the process of doing background and that sort on a new podcast. But, oh yeah, I don't have anything here. But, I am not going to... Um, get thirsty. I've told myself we're not going to release it until... I have at least 26 episodes done. Um, at first I thought 13, but I think 26 would be good. Just the simple fact that... I don't know. I want to make sure that I'm going to have time to do it. I don't want to... Oops. Get it started and then... Not be able to keep up with it. Because... This one is going to take quite a bit to do. I'll leave that one up. Yeah, I mean, I, I dislike when I'm editing three or four ahead because then you get comments and you can't kind of respond to the comments right away in the next recording, but with schedules, you kind of have to. Okay, let's... Oop, other one. Let me start getting suited up here. Okay, so we're not going to need that. Oh, I have it. This shotgun. That one's gonna stay there. Um, the club. We're not gonna need a shark blimp. But you know, I think people understand, and as long as you keep up on uh, comments. In the actual written comics part, I don't think it'd be that that bad. But you know, and I, I try to be upfront and tell them, hey, um, you know, I'm recording these ahead of time because of scheduling. Oops, that's not what we wanted to do. So they kind of know. That's where the streaming's kind of nice. Like I said, there's no editing. Um, but things can happen, too. You know, especially if you do it the same night, like Sunday nights, you go on vacation or something just comes up or that. It's... Plus, you have a lot of dead time where I'm thinking or doing that and there's not much going on. And that's not very riveting. We still got quite a bit of time yet, don't we? But if I go up, it's going to take me a while to get down here. Well, let's look at this. This is one of the mods, the large generator, and it takes actual car engines, the large engines, but its max output's 1800 watts. Can hold 25,000 gallons of gas. Um, it's a beast. It doesn't actually chew through the gas too bad. All I'm using right now is 272 watts, so I could put a lot more on it. Here's another one the auto claim, or the claim auto repair. So you set this bad boy down, and it's not going to repair like Horde Knight when they're coming through and breaking the walls and stuff. It's not going to repair that. It will slowly repair after you leave. 
So, like, you know, within the seven days, it should have most of the stuff repaired that's not completely destroyed. Which is nice, because you don't have to come back and try to repair everything. So you just put in whatever materials you think it's going to need to repair, and it just automatically does it. Here, let's... Oh, we want that in there, too. There we go. Yeah, it's nice, because like I said, it because I was worried that's kind of cheating. And then Averno pointed out to me, he's like, no, it doesn't repair it quick enough that it's going to help you on Horde Night. It takes a little while to do each block, but, you know, in between it'll repairs, or let's say a screamer that comes up and hits, it'll kind of repair that stuff for it too. And that was one he wanted on, I think. And it worked out pretty good. Um... One of the things I really like... Oops! Got cat blocks on, too. Um, it's not that. Pressure plate mine. Drill. Isn't that what it is? Yes, yeah, the Oak Raven Rock Drill. Those things are pretty awesome. You drop them down. I mean, it takes a little bit to build, but not, not too bad. You drop them down, put some of the gas in there, and it automatically mines for you. You get metal ore, stone, pretty much everything that you can do yourself. And it works out really good. And then, of course, we have the hydroponics. So that you can grow things underground. The other one is the fish. Yeah, it definitely does. Because um, you can put a bunch of those up and then you don't have to worry about getting a lot of the stuff. Um, the fish farm. That thing's pretty awesome too. Unlocks a lot of um, cooking in that. I mean, that's what I'm using here is cheap seared salmon filet. But you do have to have a special stove to do it to the fish oven here but it doesn't take much to make the fish oven either but the farming kit takes a little bit that's to, to put your fish in it and that's a thousand cash but lots of little things we come across that we really like We're getting close Whenever I build a base, I always try to put anything that I don't want damaged behind a little stub wall. Because then, cop spit shouldn't hit it. Usually I'd have that door up here, but I kind of messed up, so. But I've also put, like, a couple off here. And then, also gives you a place to go. Should path okay here? Um, I do have plates there, there, and on the outside, too. And up here. I think I put it up there. Yeah, I can see their level there. Just for a little bit added. But this is concrete. It's not... Uh, the front here is steel. This back here, I think, is concrete. Nope, that's steel too. Let's see if it uh, actually repairs it before uh, Horde Night. But yeah, I mean... I don't have the time like I used to. When I used to play... Um, on the one server with everybody where I had huge minds and stuff because, well, you know, COVID, I uh, wasn't working, so I had lots of time. But now I don't really have the time to sit there and grind out all day, so those things make it awesome. I hope once Alpha 21 comes out, I want to do a lot more builds, um, prefab builds, base builds. Um, player versus player builds. I put all my stuff up on Nexus. Um, there are links in my Discord to it. Um, I'm going to check. I kind of had some ideas for some things. I have post-it notes all over my desk with ideas. And things I need to do, like how many weeks it takes to butcher the new ducks I got once they're born. Um, 
I'm hatching in the incubator right now quail and silky eggs. And it's, the quail are ready three days before the silky eggs. So I have to take the rotator in I have out, take the quail eggs and just set them down where the I took rails out of another one. So if they hatch early, they can still hatch fine. And then the day that they're supposed to start hatching, the um, silky eggs come out and go in there. So far this year, um, I only have had two silky left after the mink. And now I've got from them, I just put three outside. They're feathered out now in with them. So there's three, I think probably 12 this year that I've uh, hatched out so far. I know it's riveted. I'm just staring at it. But see, it hasn't repaired it yet. So that just tells you, you know, it takes a while to repair it. I'm going to miss being able to throw this. I mean, I, I don't understand. They're like, the one person was talking like it was this awesomest thing ever. They finally listened to whoever it was. You know, now it's a power attack. Um, I, I probably won't use it. You know, once I get this far along, I won't use it. At the beginning, it's nice because you can, you know, jab and then walk away. Jab. Oop. Break things. <laughs> And it begins. There they start coming. The red dots are there because of... Um, come on, get up. Because of my dog mod, which is another one of the mods. Did the other ones die? Holy crud! That's a lot of big boys. Boy, they're kind of stacking up today, aren't they? So must they, some of them must be dying on the way down. Can I hit him? I can't. I love melee. Get off of that. But those big boys sure take a... Sure hurt your, uh... Up. That's why I don't mess around with them usually. Should have got some cocktail maltals. I can like take care of little Timmy down there. Let's see if we can't get him with the uh, SMG. Come on, stick your butt back out. Stick your butt back out, buddy. There's another one. I didn't think about uh, needing the. cocktails to take care of those guys. Let's bring this there. I think I did most of that damage.
Well, so far the base is working pretty good. Now, I do like the new dismemberment stuff. That's going to be pretty awesome. Come and get some. I still, every time I see that uh, model, I always remember Glock calling it thick. Come on, get your butt back out here. That guy right there. Ooh, bird flew in there. We got three of these guys here now. Doesn't look like they're through the first one here yet. Demo showed up. I don't think I have anything in here for that, do I? No cocktails, no. Nope. I Man, I can't even see them. I wonder if they blew out one of the plates up there. But they did, you would think. Uh, another big boy. A lot of big boys tonight. But see, there's no damage there yet. Ask and they come. Blow up, you. There, maybe you got rid of some of those little butt hits down there. They look like it. Let's repair that. Ooh, right the butt. Man, these guys aren't even sticking their butts out anymore. Oh, I wonder if they went down. Because, see, I'm not on bedrock. So they have the cool flames. Piercing just for you, buddy. But shot. <laughs> you know what else I didn't think about? How am I going to get any of those bags? Because I don't have access to in there. <laughs> I 
I've done, uh, oh, on one of the servers, I actually did one where they fell down and then they had to come up a ladder to me. And it works good as long as they don't break the ladder. You know, I only played Minecraft once. I wasn't a huge fan of it, so I just kind of left it. They must have dug a hole down. You know what? Let's make this interesting. Where did he go? There we go. Well, he didn't make it through. I thought he might make it through there. I did buy Minecraft though. Fix the wall over there. That's good. They actually bought Minecraft so that I could, we could set up a server so my son could play with his friends. And I don't know that he ever did. They're not beating up on that one. Do anything there, but yes, we made it. Horrible. That was good, but there's, like I said, they're all the way back here now. They're definitely under me. There, some mistakes were made. We needed to, uh, um, Make a way to get in there. <laughs> really couldn't do a ladder down though. I wonder if it'd be easier to go through this. Yeah, they're hitting it too, so. But let's not stand on it when we do it. That probably wouldn't be the best thing, huh? As soon as I get through this, wish I brought my pickaxe. 
wonder how much damage the shotgun does to it. Is that quite a bit? What about armor piercing? be like letting the proverbial cat out of the bag. But call me Shorty or I don't know that they're actually alive down there. Oh wait, they're zombies. They're not alive. Come on, let's get through this. They couldn't go any deeper because it's. I can't even get through there. You gotta be kidding me! It's almost done though. Oh. Sneeze. Yes, I got the mute for the win before I sneezed. <laughs> wow, that was a big one. Now, how did they get in here? Okay. Normally, I wouldn't do this. But we are going to go into God mode. Because we want to see what they did. And I don't feel like sitting here forever. So they glitched. Well, that was bull. So they glitched down into here with these and then started going in. But right here, that's how it looks looking up. So it softens about quite a bit. So it didn't fail. Hoorah! We would have been good. Just no way to get there. I guess we could have put a ladder coming down this way. To drop in to get it. Alright. I'm tired. And... I think I need a shower, so I want to thank you for joining me, Mr. Crab Clown Jimmy. It was an honor to have you on my stream. Hopefully I didn't put you too far behind for your uh, making the video there. I know as I edited seven yesterday videos, rendered seven of them, and then got two uploaded right now. That was for my trip. So the Tree Walker channel is going to have... I think we're going to have, starting tomorrow, seven more new ones. I think I'll do them every other day. And one of them, here's a spoiler. <laughs> yeah, you just got to make time sometimes. And a lot of them were, um, wasn't too much editing. Because I just had to edit the beginning and the end. A couple of them were a little bit editing. But, spoiler, one of the ones I've never done before and I've seen done. We went, and you'll see when you watch the video a ways back and there was an abandoned house and I did a tour of the house and it's awesome I, I really I'd love to live there but all right thank you for joining me again crab clown Jimmy thanks to everybody who watches this after it gets posted over to YouTube I want everybody to have a great night and remember stay alive out there and keep on surviving
Have a good night, Jimmy.